All right, everyone, we are going to get started warming up here. We are doing, oh, a rotated core and arms today. Core and arms. Good, so we're gonna start just standing feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna do nice big shoulder circle. Good, and forward. Good, you're gonna hinge forward and you're just going to do a reverse fly. So we're going to focus on back and arms today. And then a lot of core components. We're gonna break it up into uh, core only and then arm back only, layering upon each other. Amazing, touch those toes. You know, use this to stretch those hamstrings if they're sore from yesterday. Activate that core. Bring your right knee to left elbow, left to right, breathing through this. Touch those toes, come forward. So I want you to activate that core into your plank. Activate, bringing right knee to left elbow, left to right. Walk it back. Give me two more here. Find your breath. Good, crisscross across. Last one here. Forward, crisscross across. Amazing, slowly round it up. Good, let's do arm circles this time. This time, also shoulders nice and big circles. Good, and forward. Oh, you got it. Amazing, hinge forward, flat back, squeeze shoulder blades back and together. Good, pull that belly button into your spine. Very good. We've got five more here. Five, four, three, two. Amazing, touch those toes. Walk out to a plank. This time, land in your plank. Tap those knees down, right back up, right to left, left to right. Walk back, touch those toes. Good, forward, on your breath. Tap those knees, right to left, left to right. Walk it back. Touch those toes, we have three more here. Tap the knees first, activate that core, right to left, left to right. Good, walk it back. Two more, on your breath. Right to left, to left to right. Walk it back. Last one. Good, oh, I forgot the knee tap. Good, walk it back. Good, slowly round yourself up. Good, we're going to start with a back exercise. So grabbing two hand weights. Good, depending on your strength, I want you to go 10, 12s, 15s, 20s. Good, we're gonna start in a pinched position. So nice deep bend in those knees, flat back, letting those arms just fall below the shoulders and then rowing to the lower ribs. So you're getting yourself, your elbow in a 90 degree. You don't need to go much higher than that. I want it to pass the body slightly. Good? So making sure you're not rounding here. Proud chest like you're sitting on a little stool behind you. Core tight. Good? <coughs> you don't necessarily need weight. You can always Tai Chi this. Squeeze shoulder blades back in together. Good. Let's get started. Feet shoulder width apart. Core tight. Good. Hinge forward. So Ronan, you can even do this standing right up so you're not loading that spine at all. You can almost imagine that you're pulling a band from the wall. Good, so palms are gonna be facing each other. Squeeze down, controlled, yes, for 10. Pull that belly button, nine, breathing. Eight, good, seven, you got it. Six, for five, four, nice, three, two, one, put one down. Good, join me in plank with that one weight. Planking, hands in between, sorry, weight in between those hands. Good. Feet shoulder width apart, core nice and tight. So, activating that core. So same exercise, Ronan, you can do this without weight. So what I wanna see is that core engage without Rocking those hips, swiveling, you're rolling up to your lower rib. Yes, very similar movement, but we're adding in that core component here. Good, let's go. We're gonna do six aside from this point. 
for five. I want you to activate that core for minimize the swivel. So you should feel that core firing up. Uh, three, three, breathing, two, two, one and one. One, one, amazing. Stand it up. Ready, stand it up. Grabbing both weights. Good. We are doing an alternate, alternating, alternating bicep curl. Can't use my words today. Good. So one of the muscles that is an auxiliary to your back exercises are your biceps. So we're gonna layer upon what we just did by doing alternating bicep curls. Hold on. Do not swing core tight. I want you to feel every single one for five, four. As one comes down, the other comes up. Three, two, one and one. One and one, good. Put it down just for a split second. Shake it out. Change weights if you wanna go heavier. We're gonna start in our row position. Good, grab those weights again. Hinge forward, flat back, core tight. Good, lower ribs, 90 degrees. Good, core tight. You got it. For 10, almost pause up top, nine. Breathing, eight, seven, hold on. Six, you got it, five, four, three, Two, one, woo, amazing, planking, planking, core tight. We're going 10 aside this time. Good, nice shoulder width stance with those feet, core engaged, balance, pull, then switch. I don't wanna see those hips swiveling, so meaning you really have to activate that core to stabilize. Right, because it's easy to lift the hip to activate the movement. Squeeze those glutes, find your balance, find your breath. You have six aside for six. Six, row to the lower rib, come on. Five. Four, you got it. Find your breath. If you need to go to your knees to do this, you can. Just make it accessible. Two, two, one and one. One and one. Oh my goodness. Very good, stand it up. Grab those weights going into our curls. Good, feet shoulders apart, core tight. Grounding down in all four corners of your feet if you're barefoot, even if you're not. Let's go. One side, then the end, other. Down controlled, don't swing. Hold on, for 10. Whew. Nine. Eight. Oh my goodness. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, oh my goodness, two, one and one. Finish it, one and one. Amazing, put one down. On your back, please. On your back with me. We're gonna start with that weight. Good, legs up. Good, extend those arms, pressing the small of the back into the mat. So you can do this with or without a weight. Good, you're gonna be lifting that weight to your toes. We're gonna do three exercises for this core sequence. So stay with me if you can. You've got 10, lift high, nine, breathe in. Eight, seven, hold on. Six, for five, four, three, two, one. V-sit, V-sit. So if your hip flexors are bothering you, Right, keep those heels down, or if you can, float them up. Rotate one side, 
and the other. Keep this weight if you can. You can do it without the weight. Yeah, keep those heels down, proud chest. Don't round the back. Find your breath. You got it. Nice, Bettina, for 10. Nine. Eight. Slow it down. You want to feel this in the obliques. Six. For five. You got it. Four. Hold on. Three. Two. Two. One and one. 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 Good. Put it down. On your back. Good. No weight. Good. Lifting those shoulders up. Right? Small the back. Press. Extend one leg. Press that knee against your chest. Switch. Switch. So this is a static hold up top. Shoulders are off the ground. Good. Press it in. A little support here as you pull the knee in. Feel that contraction. It should kind of suck. You've got 10. Breathe. 10. 9. Oh my God. Lift higher. 8. Support the neck if you need to. 7. 6. Lift higher. Oh my God. For five, yes, four, three, oh my gosh, two, two, one, and one, one, and one. Whoo, you should feel that, yes? Grab that weight. Let's go. Legs up. Legs up. So option to bring those legs a little bit away from you and lifting a little higher. We're going for 20. So find what works. Oh my goodness. I know, I'm right here with you. Yes. Take your time. Chest proud. Neutral neck. Do not make this a neck exercise, please. For 10, nine, eight, you got it, seven, hold on, six, for five, good job everyone. Come back to me, four, come on Bettina, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, up you get, V-sit, V-sit. Come on up, let's go grab that weight, weight or no weight. Either drive those heels down, especially if you're feeling this in the lower back because your hip flexors are tight, drop those heels, but still leaning back, right? Getting a nice rotation. For 10, you got it, nine, eight, yes, seven, six, for five, four, three, two, one and one, 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 oh my goodness. On your back, let's do it. So small of the back, thrust against the mat, shoulders come up. Good, extend one leg and the other. Two, breathing. Three, you should feel this. Four, uh, five, breathing. Six, good, seven. Keep going, eight, uh, nine. We've got six more side for six. Hold on, five, lift higher. Four, don't tap out. Three, uh, two, one and one, one and one. Ha, ha, ha. Take a quick sip if you would like. If you have water around, because I don't know where I put my water. I always lose my water. Very good, everyone. If you have a chair, a step, a wall close by, we're going to use it next. And if you have a heavier weight or two weights, in fact, to help you with the next exercise, we're gonna go back into upper body. Back to our back. I know, pardon the pun. Good, so you're gonna find something that you can stabilize yourself with. I want shoulders square, hips square, nice step back, nice bend, good. We're going to go row, palm facing forward, row, elbow comes out, good. So it's gonna come directly by your body and then elbow to the side, good? I want you, if you can, to grab something a little heavier than you had before. So if you were 12, go to 15. If you were 15, go to 20. A little bit heavier. All right. 
flat back. Let's get started. Good, you're gonna go one palm facing forward, one elbow comes wide, so palms facing you, or back and forward. Good, let's do it. Let's go row, so same principle, right? 90 degree, take your time with that rotation at the bottom. Don't have to rush it, core engaged through this. To the side, you got it. Find your breath. Hold on. Yes. Six. You got it. Six. Seven. Seven. One more of each. Eight. Eight. Oh my goodness. I want it to challenge you, so take your time with it. I just need to move my box. Flat back. Ready? Palm facing forward. Core tight. Row. Rotate it. Elbow out. Row. Yes. Elbow out. Row. Good. Elbow out. Row. Elbow out. Take your time. It should feel distinctly different. We're actually going to change this for round two so you can feel the difference. Uh, hold on. Two more of each. Two. Two. Oh my god, one and one. One and one. Amazing. Good. On your bellies, please. On your bellies. On your bellies. Good. So feet together, squeezing the glutes. Good, making sure you have enough room. Good. So imagining a lat pull down. I want you to lift that chest off of the ground. You're gonna reach to here. Good, reach to here. And every time you bring your thumbs to touch your shoulders, I want you to do a little bit of a back bend. So no tension through the middle back or lower back. It's all upper back, good. Feet together, squeeze those glutes, core nice and tight, press that belly towards the earth, reach up, thumbs touch your shoulder, extend, touch your shoulder, squeeze those glutes. I want this to be full body activation. Squeeze those lats, bring that Bruce Lee engagement. For 10, squeeze, lift, nine, eight, Squeeze, seven, good, six, for five, hold on, four, three, two, one, amazing, up you get, up you get. So we're gonna change it a little bit. We are going to do 10, let's go 12 rows. 12 rows, palms facing forward. Good? Then 12 rows with a side pull. So with your side pull, I want you to make sure you're not bringing that shoulder here. Good? If it's too heavy, drop the weight. Good? Because this is a back exercise. You shouldn't be rolling. You shouldn't be crunching. Okay? Good. So grab your heavy work core tight. First palm facing forward. We're going to do 12 there, and I want you to feel the difference. Good? Three, two, one. Let's go for 12. Squeeze. Do not swing the weight. For 10. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Bettina, go down on your, you can lean on your leg if you need to. Yes, for five, like this, yeah. Four, palm forward. Three, two, one. What you should notice is that with this pull, it's more bicep and you're gonna get that little rhomboid. Where you're gonna notice is this is gonna be upper back. I'm gonna go down a little lighter with this one. Good, upper back as the elbow comes wide. Let's go. 11, don't swing it. 10, down control. Nine, make it work. Eight, seven, you got it. Six, for five, four, Three, two, one. Woo! Amazing. That was better. 
So the nice thing about having two exercises in one is that it's less concentration in that area, right? But the disadvantage is that it's not as intense, right? So that's why I've separated them for you to boost up that intensity. You ready? Palm facing forward first. Shoulders square, core tight. If you don't have a bench low enough, you can always lean on that knee. Good? Stabilize. Let's go for 12. Row up to the lower rib. Elbow passes the body. 90 degree bend. Pausing up top. Control. <sighs> Breathing. <sighs> Six. You got it. For five. Four. <sighs> Three, two, one. Good, put it down. Grab lighter, keep the same thing. Elbow comes out to the side, palm faces behind you for 12. 10, keep going. Elbow comes high. Eight, core tight. Seven, good. Six, for five. Elbow, shoulder away from your ear. Three more, three. Two, one. Woo, mama. Don't go far. Hinge forward. Hinge forward. We're gonna add this in. Pulse. Down part way. Bend those knees flat back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Breathe. Three, two, one. Relax for one second. Don't go far. So this should hit those rear delts with those side rows. Ready? Again. All the way up, flat back, core tight. 10, nine, eight, I know, seven, six, keep the shoulders away from your ears, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, very good. On your tummy, on your tummy, let's do it. Good, on your belly. Feet together, knees together, glutes, on, good, reach those arms above your head, squeeze your lower back and down, activate those lats, float the chest up, breathing, good, keep going, for 10, squeeze those lats, right, like you're doing a lat pull down, nine, squeeze those glutes, eight, seven, Six, hold on, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, up you get. Take a quick, quick sip. We're gonna flip it over to core. We're gonna start out in a side plank when you are ready. So keeping your shoulder again away from your ear, you're gonna stack on that um, elbow. That's what it's called. So option, so Ronan, an option to be just on your knees. Good, so side plank will look like this. You're just gonna hold. Option to be from your feet. Good, you're gonna press yourself up here. So option to just hold, or you're gonna rotate trying to get under. Being really mindful of how stable that shoulder is as you rotate down. Good, let's go for 10. On your elbow. Nine, nice half. Take your time. Keep that hip up. Eight, yes. Seven, you got it. Six, five, take your time. Four, oh my God, three. Two, yes, one. Amazing, other side. Woo, let's go. Good, shoulder away from ear. Let's go all the way up. Stabilize hip up. So Ronan, I was just saying, you can do this from your knees if you need. Just holding the plank, not making it dynamic. And if you are on your side plank like this, you can still do it without making it dynamic. Good, this rotation really challenges those obliques. For four, oh my God. Three, two, one. Yes, 
Amazing. On your back. Hands underneath that back side. Good. So, Ronan, I want you to just stay here and you're going to press your hands into the mat and try to lift those lower abs. Good? So, that's one option. If you need to, you can go heels to floor, knees to chest. What I want to see the entire time is that lower back glued against the ground, right? So, instead of being here, I want it here. Good? That is your activation. Good? You can also kick those legs out if you can keep that contact with the earth. Good? Regardless, we're pulling our knees into the chest. Good? Lifting that tailbone up, activating with the abs. So this is not a swing. I want every single one to count. For 10, breathing. Nine. Don't swing, Kathy. Eight. There. Seven. Good. Six. For five. Make it good. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Amazing. Good. Bend those elbows. Support the neck. You can clasp the hands behind your neck. Good. We're going to double dip. So if you have it in you, you're going to extend those heels to tap the ground. And then you're going to bring your elbows to meet the knees. Good. So as you're doing this, you're scooping, scooping the tailbone off the ground as you're floating those shoulders off the ground. So we've got a double whammy contraction here of lower and upper abs. It should suck. I want you to go nice and controlled. Breathing. Make every single one count. Use that breath to stay connected to the intensity and to the intention of where we're bringing this movement. For 10, do not let out that back off of the mat. Nine, breathing. Eight, hold on. Seven, oh my God. Six, for five, oh my goodness. Four, three, yes. Two, one. Oh my gosh. Very good, side plank, back to your side plank, please. Whew. Sweating. Side plank, pull that shoulder away from your ear. Good? Making sure, this is a lot of tension on the shoulder. If that's too advanced for you, you don't need to do it, right? You can hold your side plank with that activation. Good? So you can hold it here or you can add a bit of a rotation. Notice how my shoulder is coming forward almost like I'm trying to go right into a front plank, right? So be mindful of your ability here. You can always go to your knees also. Yes. For four. Lift those hips high. Three. Two, you should feel this lower oblique talking to you. One. Amazing. Other side. Whew. Very good, everyone. Let's go. Three, two, let's go. Drop it, lift high. Take your time. Good, take your time. The bigger the rotation, the more obliques. We've got five more, five. Even if you can't get through the whole 10, do what you can and then hold the pause. Three. Two, oh my God, one, amazing. On your back, on your back. Ah, very good everyone. Hands underneath that backside, gluing that lower back on the ground, extending knees to chest, scooch that tailbone under with intention, right? Do not use the momentum to get those knees to chest. I want you to pull in with those lower abs. Amazing. Hold on for 10. Make every single one count. Nine. Roni, you don't need to extend those legs so far. Eight. Seven. You got it. Six. Good. For five. Glue that lower back. Four. Three. Good. Two. Oh my goodness. One. Arms behind your head. 
Let's go, add in the double treble, heels tap, come on up. Heels tap, only doing the heel tap if you're able to keep that lower back glued. Yes, hold on for 10, nine, good, eight, seven, six, yes, for five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Very good. Arms above your head for a moment. Take a quick sip. We're gonna get into our final segment of today. We're gonna hit that upper body and then that core. Oh, I'm dripping everywhere. Very, very good, everyone. So we are going to start it with two dumbbells. We're gonna do a hammer curl to a shoulder press. Hammer curl to a shoulder press. Good? So grabbing whatever weights you feel comfortable with, I'm gonna start with 12s. Hammer curl to a press, core engaged as we're doing that. We're gonna do it standard. You are welcome to do it seated. I want you to make sure though, if you're seated, that you're not collapsing through the core, that you're still getting that core fortress engagement. Good? Stand up when you're ready grabbing those weights. So hammer curl, curl is when the weights are facing each other, sorry, your palms are facing each other, using a different aspect of your bicep, feet shoulder width apart, core tight. We're gonna get started, so stand up with me, good. Bicep curl, press. Palms facing each other the entire time. So I want your elbows to come forward, right? So I don't want you here in your shoulder press. Yeah, good. I like it, Paulina. Good, press, core tight. Good. You got it, Peter. Nice. Core tight. Do not swing in your bicep curl. Nice, Bettina. Good. Keep it tight to the body for 10. Nice and controlled. Nine. You got it. Try to straighten those elbows. Eight. Take your time. Seven. Ugh. You got it. Six. Hold on for five. Good. Four. I know. I'm right here with you. Three. Yes. Two. One and one. One. Amazing. Put it down. Don't get mad. So, push up to downward dog. Good, downward dog is your break, but also, because we just did shoulders, it's gonna activate them. Good, 10 at your own pace, please. Good, starting in downward dog, coming forward, nice solid plank, push up, chest to ground. Good, option to go to your knees if you need to for the push up. Then activate that core right to downward dog. For seven, I've got seven more, how about you? Find your count, keep with it. Don't rush it, I wanna see everyone's chest to ground, I don't care. Good, challenge yourself. Yes. Whew. I've got one more, how about you? Oh my goodness. Very good everyone, when you're ready. Nice, Bettina. Nice, Paulina. I like the rhyming names, makes it easy. Nice, Kath. Very good. When you're ready, stand it up. Grab those weights. Let's do it. Bicep curl. Press. Feet shoulder width apart. Good, curl. Press. So I know I reminded everybody yesterday about their hydration. And then I started the day amazing with my hydration, but then last night tapered off. And yesterday was extremely warm in Toronto, as some of you guys know, and I'm feeling it today. So I find that if I don't hydrate well enough, I feel it in my workouts the next day. My energy 
Exact. You got it. Seven. Let's go, Peter. Six. Can you press all the way above your head? For five. Core tight. Four. Three. Two. One. One. Oh my goodness. Put it down. See, I feel it, the lactic acid builds up in my muscles. Downward dog push up. 10 at your own pace, chest to floor. Make it good, okay? Full range. Let's go. Starting in your downward dog, chest to floor for one. Let's go, core tight, do not drop the back. Keep that core engaged. I know, we're almost done, guys. Stay with me. Yes. You got it. Keep going. Finish it up, come on. Hold on. Yes. Holy moly. Very good, everyone. Nice, Bettina. Really good. Very good. We are going to quickly do one more set of that bicep press. I just feel like we need to do that for good measure. I know, last, last one. Good, last one. Do the same weight to, or lighter, depending on how that felt for you. Good, feet shoulder width apart, core tight. Do not swing. Let's go, curl, press, controlled. Curl, press, controlled. Down slow. Use every aspect, right? Every aspect, meaning the curl up, controlled, pressing up, controlled, down, controlled, elbows closed, down, controlled with that bicep. Make every single aspect count for 10. You might as well show up while we're doing it, right? Might as well get the maximum benefit from doing the work. Eight. Yes. Seven. Ugh. I know. I feel it too. Six. For five. Ugh. Four. I know, I'm sorry. You guys get to hear all my grunting. Three. Two. One. Amazing. On your back. You know, I feel like grunting is warranted with weightlifting. When I used to power lift, it used to be kind of ridiculous, actually, the sounds that people would make. But tennis, on the other hand, I know they hit the ball hard, but I can never really understand the sounds that tennis makers make versus the stroke. Anyways, that's just my own thing. Good, we're gonna do bicycles. So one side to the other, nice and controlled. Controlled tempo. So one, one. Good, lift that shoulder, reaching across to that knee. If this is bothering your hip flexor too much, you can lo you lose the legs and keep them in a 90 degree position. Side to side. Let's go, lift. We're almost there, guys. I know, I just wanted to add in a bit of a core bonus for five. Lift, four, breathe, three, two, one and one. Good, you've got 10 seconds, we're gonna do it again. Find your breath. Good, five seconds, four. Keep that neck neutral, two, one. Let's go one side and the other. Keep that pace controlled. Good, you got it. Good, 10, lift high, reach, nine. Make it work, eight, breathing. Seven, six, for five. Hold on, four, good, three, two, one, 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 relax. Whew, 10 seconds, last one, I promise. Nine, eight, five, four, are you ready? Three, two, let's go, same tempo. 
left. I know. I'm right here with you. We're gonna do five more aside, then we're gonna pick up our pace. Four, three, uh, two, one. Good. It's not gonna be much faster, but just one tempo increase. Hold on. Five, four, three, oh my god, two, one. Very good, arms above your head, stretch out those abs. Lengthen through that midsection. Very, very good, leaning to one side while you're lying down, so lengthen one side. Oh my goodness, and the other. I know, it's kind of sticky to try to lean to one side. When you're ready, make your way up to seated. Good, let's start out, I mean, end off where we started out. Roll those shoulder blades back and together. Arms behind your back, press that chest forward. Drop the chin. Good, leaning to one side, so bend that elbow, place that hand on the ground. Amazing, other side. Good, bring both arms above your head, bend one elbow, stretch that tricep. Very good, everyone. Other side. Good, arms behind your back again, drop that chest, open up the chest, float those arms off of your back. Good, round forward, pressing your hands towards the ground. Ah, very, very good. Slowly make your way up. Great work today, everyone. Really good.